it's so devastating to shoot at Poe when he's got that focus for every shot. I think, I think you just got to go for Poe here. Of course, man, what do you guys think? He's just not in a very good way. Poe for show. <laughs> I think Ricky's close to busted. Yeah. Crazy after one turn, but that's that's what Paul Heaver will do to you. Yeah, X-Wing can be, if you don't get the crisis moment right, mm -hmm. you you can really be screwed. Mm -hmm. Okay, Blair, I'm going to head upstairs. Uh, do you have Tyler's, is he in your, your address book? He is. Cool. Um, so when he, he comes online, you can add him? If I can figure out... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can add him. Cool. All right, I'll be back. Yep. So, Morgan, did you ever watch any of the games I ever streamed about you? What's that, mate? Just drop the connection a bit there. All the games I streamed... I would cast when you were playing. Did you ever watch those, or you got better stuff to do with your time? Nope, we're losing Morgan. All right, that's all right. That's what I get paid to do, boys. I'll I'll carry on on my own. All right. So I think your proto. You just got a one left turn to proto. Uh, Paul's got some win. interesting moves here. Uh, he can do an array assortment of things. Uh, this guy's obviously just going like one forward. The bandit can do a lot of stuff. Big thing for Paul is just target priority. Who do you want to kill, essentially? And, I mean, he wants to avoid that bump. So, I mean, this guy can do really anything. He might just two right turn him. The bandits, I guess, is really the only guy in question. Because I think Poe's one right banking. And then a two right turn here. The bandit just kind of wants to avoid that bump from the proto, but Paul just, he might just one forward him anyway, just because. Okay, so he hard turns the proto, one right, let's see where this ends up. Yeah, that's, I don't think that's going to have a shot on Poe if Poe one right banks. And that's why I wasn't crazy about that move. Because a boost right isn't going to fit. Like you almost might as well just take a target lock on someone and stash it for later. Of course, if that gold does two right turn, you might have a shot there. What you gonna do, Ricky? He is cycling actions. <laughs> He's gonna take a target lock. Internet's rubbish. Only two left turns the B wing. Ooh. Oh, who's this now? Tyler? And he's gone. That's Morgan. <laughs> oh. Are you here? Are you back, Morgan? I'm back, mate. Okay. Sorry, you sent uh, garbage. You no started with us pretty bad. Man, I don't know why you would two left turn that. B wing just to roll him right. Like I just feel like a two left bank accomplishes the same thing, and you can take an action in that sense. But okay, so it's two right turn the gold. That's pretty much what we figured he would do. And he's just got a light po up here, and either he's either got to kill him or get a real good crit, like a damage sensor array or something. 
<clears throat> and then finish him off the, the next turn, if not this turn, to have any kind of a chance. Yeah, he's all in on Poe now, isn't he? That's his only hope. Pretty much. Yeah, I have to agree with you about the B-Wing. It's a, an odd move. I, I don't know why you would turn instead of just bank and mm -hmm. have a bigger arc. Well, he gets a block there. <clears throat> Although, I think that band is going to be range one on on the blue. And the stress hogs, mm -hmm. obviously, is going to one forward. There we go. Okay, so Poe just won forwards. Hmm. That is interesting. Oh. I'll be setting up, setting up for the Talon roll next turn, maybe. Oh yeah, but that you know that Proto's got a shot. Proto's got a shot, and Gold Four is going to be unobstructed. He really needed to take an action with that B-Wing there, though. It looks like both Protos have got a shot, actually, if they're still alive. Oh, uh, there's no way that first Proto... He's got. He's going down no matter what. I mean, if Poe doesn't kill him and that Stress Hog... Wow, is he really going to boost Poe here? That would be a gamble. <clears throat> Gonna try it. Oops. Ooh, nope, just barely. <sighs> All right. Well, good night, Proto. Nice knowing you. I don't see, I think Paul's, <laughs> I don't see why he wouldn't shoot him here. Yeah, unless he wanted to start working on the B-Wing, but yeah, I'd agree, you'd just, you'd try and finish the proto, wouldn't you? <laughs> he was thinking about it, but you, you got to <laughs> finish him off. Just finish him. Yeah. Nothing's a sure thing in this game, so nope. give yourself a couple of chances. No, well, that's a... Well, that's two. I'm back. He's got a chance to evade it. Hey. Tyler. Not much. All right, I think we're all here. Um, Blair and Morgan? We're here. Can you hear Tyler? I can't hear him. No, I haven't got Tyler at all. Hmm. Maybe, I invited uh, him to this call. Yeah, hold on one second. If there was ever a time to roll four naked hits, this is the time to do it. Full focus. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to add you to the call, Tyler. Tyler, I invited you. You need to pick up your Skype game. Add people to this call. I think it was Blair, but... Hold on one second, I'm going to hang up on you again, Tyler. Alright, we can do this. One. Okay, not bad. 
Okay, gold four. Got to get one or two here. It's going to be unobstructed. He's got a good chance to get two. You spend that. He's gonna keep it. I'll spend oh, it. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> oh, no way. That's another one. That's nice. All right, gold or blue squadron. Hey, there we go. What up, Tyler? Hey, Tyler. How are you, man? I'm not too bad. You guys? I'll make a whole. He's exiting Skype. He's gonna come back. Yeah, yeah. Long flight. Yeah, I'm in a second. Must be home. Catch up with the family. Right. So now, got in halfway when all the actions already started. Yeah, yeah. You've come for the money shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you add him again? He's in, Sozin. I think you need to rejoin Sozin, because Morgan and Tyler are both in on the call. Oh, okay. All right, Blue, you got to do it here, buddy. Do what you didn't do in my game against Paul. <laughs> Oh. oh no. What do you think of your world squad? You know, it's uh, done and dusted. You got about a week or so to think about it. I said it the day after when I was talking to Sozin. If I would have, if I could do it all over again, I would have brought the same damn thing. I knew it was gonna be, it was gonna be whether I outflew. For the most part, it was basically a list that was like. Uh, I knew it was going to be solid against everything. The, the only thing that I was really terrified of was the hard 3 or 4 PS bid, which were in the field. That's basically what Sideslip was running the first game when we played each other. But uh, for the, other than that, all the matchups I faced were pretty even. And I knew it was just going to come down to dice and whether I outflew my opponent. And that's basically the way it went. Mm. It's interesting. I, I mean, I don't fly a lot of rebels, but I remember flying a couple of months ago when Poe first came out. Poe were, were TLTs and, and A Wing. You know, I played a few games and I found they were all close games, uh, which is unusual. I think the Q rules, you, you either feel that you can dominate it, win, or you mm -hmm. sort of get hard counted and, and you don't. Every game I faced was like the, the biggest win I had was like I lost like three ships and had like 35 points left. It was like every oh, game. Well. It was insane. I played Francois, who, who actually he finished right above me and you, Morgan. Like you finished one rank ahead of me, and he was one ahead of you. He was running double decimators, which is comes in at 32 hit points. My squad uh, like was exactly 32 hit points, and the whole time I'm wa I'm monitoring the game. Our points are like dead even the whole freaking way until it comes down to a seven health blue squad against a seven health Chirino. And I'm able to like move the blue squad into range of Chirino, take a lock, and then Chirino gets out of range. So I'm able to stash a lock for one turn, right? And then I come in again and I'm able to land a. Uh, what's the note? The white move is stress. Or it was a damaged engine is what it was. And he... <coughs> hard turns for stress? Yeah. So he did a right turn, forgot he had it, took a stress, couldn't take a lock, because Chirino had VI. And then the next turn I landed a freaking damaged cockpit, and which was pretty <laughs> much the best crit I could have hoped for. But I was totally due, because two out of the three crits I had landed... I landed three crits prior in that match. Two of them were freaking structural damage. And he had double decimators. <laughs> like, come on. So I was totally due. But if I if I hadn't landed that damaged cockpit or maybe like